Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52 First round match, a very interesting uh, Wood Elves versus uh, Kemri match <laughs> Zahu with Woodies, Hubbin Bubbin with Kemri In the booth with me is Skurabetso, hello! Hello everyone, how are we doing today? Uh, we are very excited for this game between I don't know. What what do we got here? Kemri and Wood Elves. Oh, baby. We've been looking forward to this one for a long time. But uh, most especially all of our fans in the West African nation of uh, Benin. Ben Benin. Benin. Probably Benin, right? I believe it's Benin. Benin. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a French-speaking country. Though, and they're, uh, they're cooking up their coolie coolie. And they are blowing their yellow trumpets. Oh, wait, no, that's a flower, apparently. They're blowing their flower trump blowing. Wow, I lost this thread. Yeah, congratulations, Benin. Let's get to some Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> You're nuts. I can see this is the first time you've experienced Kuramatsu. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry, Famir. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they blew trumpets in Benin. Who knows? <laughs> They're a French colony. It all checks out. Somebody got blown. <laughs> yep. Yep. And that's all that matters, really, at the end of the day. <laughs> uh, no, Steve Motti, I don't. I don't believe Brady ever rushed for two thousand yards. However, he does have the all-time greatest juke uh, of any rushing quarterback. If you look up Brady Jukes Brian Urlacher, it's the funniest thing you'll ever fucking see. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> it's so good. It's because he's like, at the time, he was like the greatest defensive back in the league. And he just, yeah, he just like shimmy, like to fake him out and run past him, Raven. A juke move. Anyway, it looks like we're getting uh, a DACA, so this will mm. be a quick hat. <laughs> yeah, and interesting, the all men's LOS from the. Kemri, I wonder if the Kemri did their homework and saw that and knew that Zahu wanted to Daka, right? Because that that seems a very good defense. Like if you know your opponent wants to Daka to, to all men's LOS to like be able to get in position instantly. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like you're gonna draw Wood Elves into a fight that you can't win as Kemri if you all man's <laughs> LOS. So why not, right? Yeah. They're either gonna go straight back or straight forward. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, the danger is them going straight forward, but if you know they're not going to, then, yeah, you might as well be in the best position yeah. to take advantage if they do. I think I would actually be a little afraid of them just going down in two or three turning me, because if you're if you're Kemri defending the ball on offense against what else, it's kind of hell. Exactly right. So, yeah, that, that is the thing. So there's only 11 elves, and they've got a mm. babe. Um, they've got an edge-up dancer. They've got a move-up catcher. Um, the guard. Yeah, they've got one really good player and nothing else. <laughs> yeah, not a lot. But uh, Camry got thirteen players and they don't have a lot either, do they? They've got a block mighty. Mm -hmm. They've got an edge up thrower. They've got a pom tackler, which is huge. <laughs> yeah. And then, but yeah, not a lot of skills at all on the Camry either. So yeah. Are they missing a a war dancer? Yep, I'm pretty sure there's only one. Did he die in the last round or something? This is the first round, but yeah, maybe he died at the end. Oh, died at the end. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Might just die in the season. Zahu might have been one of the people who like didn't qualify. I don't know. Mm. No offense to Zahu, but there was a lot of people qualified and a lot of people that you know wouldn't have even known they were on the verge of qualifying probably. So like maybe he just right. had a dance die and stopped playing and then they were like, hey, do you want to play in the playoffs? And he's like, yeah, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, two, two, is that two guard catches? Yeah, two guard catches is pretty sick. Like, you know, so there, yeah. there are four good players, but yeah, just nothing in addition to those. Although, they, but the guard catchers are pretty sick against m m any other team. I, I mean, are they really going to two guard against, you know, what, four strength fives? <laughs> uh, it can still be used the other, for the other people, but yeah, it's obviously not not as good against, <laughs> not as good against strength five, sure. Hello, Fimea. Yeah, we uh, we nailed we nailed the country dedication. Don't watch the VOD. Did not fuck up whatsoever. Yep. Well, then look, God, God does come in to facilitate this 2D. Yeah. Yep, fair. And when that block. catcher when that catcher dies immediately afterwards, we'll uh, mm. You could actually just chained the catcher off. 
Yeah, but he can change. Oh, he's just gone. He's gone. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. really hate the blitz. I guess, I guess he thinks he's like you know he's gonna run through afterwards. But you got to blitz with a dancer, right? Like it's a it's a mm-hmm. it's a blockless block instead of a not blockless block. Yep. Like you can't be scared of the one in twelve nine six that your dancer goes down. Yeah. You have, like it's a block a blockless tomb guardian. Like you have to block in that case. If it was a block tomb guardian, then fair enough, right? Because if you're one in nine, you'll re-roll it, and you'll be really unlucky to one in eighty one. So like. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have minded blitzing with, it, with a versus a block tomb guardian, but without it. Oh, that, look, that's a lovely, lovely little scoop past here, wasn't it? A nice chain. So the yep. guard, the guard, that... not only got the assist, it also set up the uh, chain out to punch the hole. Yeah, that was nice. Mm. I didn't think he was going through this turn, but yeah, that uh, not much of a DACA. Huh? <laughs> no, no. At the end of the day. Just... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it gets the entire Kemri team. Half that team isn't going to get back in front of the ball this game. Exactly. He's got to basically last this turn, and then he's just gone. Yep. Pretty good, the Daka, sometimes. Despite what some people think. That, that, that is true, Ducky, but still, like, there's no... You know what I mean? If you're both down with the Dancer, you can just dodge away or re-roll it and you could uh, no sorry if you're both down with the dancer you just knock him down and you don't push through and you stay behind like it's so much better to blitz with a block right like it's yeah. so much better to blitz with like, the, the other guy didn't even have block like you've got to you've got to blitz with the dancer there like all the all the not blitzing with the dancer does is save you all in, in one in twelve nine six to lose the game. Well, unfortunately, I think you've got to take those one in twelve nine sixes to lose the game, like because it adds so much more in in every other case. Free free run forward for the for the dancer, but everyone else is going to have to dodge in. Uh, could you could you go live by the way? Oh, I could. And now now he blitzes with a dancer, uh, risking a one in nine sticking himself, which is pretty funny, isn't it? But I mean, it was a big payoff to knock down that tackle. To be fair, huge payoff. So I think I don't disagree with that blitz, honestly, because if you if you knock him down and out, like this is like the best. Like this guy is so fucking good. And and also, yeah, you could have powered him and then tagged him, like. Yeah, it was so, such a payoff on the Blitz, uh, even though it was, like, obviously pretty risky. Oh, I've still got the Battle Brothers music on in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some great dice rolling here from the uh, Wood Elves. Well, that's the thing, Havik. Like, if you, if you just stay on the halfway line, then you're not putting pressure on them and you're not getting hits, right? So, like, you've got a tackle pommer. You want to be using the tackle pommer, the mighty blows, getting, you know, getting do some damage. So it's, it's a tricky proposition defending the Daka. Um, some people do just stay on the halfway line, but then you're just giving them two or three turns of, of just absolutely no attrition. And then at the end of the day, if they still break through, they still break through. So I like to I like to kind of split the difference and move about a third of the way up the pitch, but not as, as far forward and aggressively as most people. But again, I'm usually playing like Undead or Necro. Um, and when I do it, like the last time I defended the DACA against Nick, I was perfectly successful, except I gave him a single block to completely get through and uh, score on me. It was, mm-hmm. um, it was amazing. It was great. One yep. fuck up against that guy and you're done. Yep. Every time. Every <laughs> fucking time. Yep. Uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, that is the problem, indeed. Look, yeah, if you, if you, if it's better to, yeah, if you can not get turned, th- like if you can not let them through, you'd rather be getting hits on them, wouldn't you? But then, obviously, if you if you get if you let them through, you'd rather let them through deeper in your half so that you you've got people further back. It's it's not easy. It's not an easy thing. People who say the Dakar is shit are shit and wrong. Um, yeah, there's there's a flat earth emote now. Yeah. Yeah, it's glorious. Why? Uh, for, Why? For Artemis and his, like, I don't think the RNG works properly in this game. <laughs> What's the connection to Flat Earth? 
Well, because it, then it's just idiotic. Well, it, exactly, it's an idiotic conspiracy theory, theory hmm. right? Like okay, that. okay. There's not a deeper level that I was missing. Out no, on. no, no. I was just basically, <laughs> okay. I was just basically calling calling Artemis the, an idiotic yeah. conspiracy theorist. Yeah. But, um, okay. I got you. But you know, I don't know. I, I, it's so much fun spamming it in his chat all the time that I think it might actually be pissing him off. So I'm, I might, I might get rid of it. <laughs> I mean, what is what what isn't pissing him off at any given time though? <laughs> It's brilliant. He's like, at this point, I think the people who don't think it works, possibly. I, oh, God. He was like, at this point, I think it's the people who think it work, the RNG works properly are the stupid ones. <laughs> it was brilliant. He was going, wow, he was losing his shit. Double down, baby. Double down mm. on a bad point. That's uh, the winning uh, winning uh, solution. Hello, yeah. Anarian. Hello, Corpax. But yeah, uh, to be fair, to, in, in, in Nat's defense, like if any company on the planet can fuck up a widely available like yes. RNG that every single other company uses, yeah. it's gonna be cyanide. <laughs> so, so while it's fun, while it's fun to mock him by saying he's a flat earther, um, it, 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 it like the weird like the the. The bombs, everyone agrees about bombs, right? Bombs are like the, is it, is it, is, like, we all know that perception bias is a thing and stuff. So, like, are the bombs, actually, do they work correctly? None of us know. And, like, that's the thing. If it was anyone but cyanide, we'd say, obviously yeah. not. But it's cyanide, so, yeah, it, <laughs> it's funny. I think my, my perception bias on bombs is that they're, like, on both sides, both in my favor and against me. Not that I've really played with bombs to throw a lot but uh is that they always get intercepted oh, like almost every time there's a throw there's a there's an interception on it more than any other like you need a six to catch this yeah. it seems like they always get fucking intercepted yeah exactly yeah it's really weird but i do not think that it's bad rng i just think it's ridiculous yeah yeah, yeah that's the thing boom a uh, boom but yeah, the, and the one, the one that I, the my clip with uh, against Moridam, like I roll a six and intercept, then he rolls a six and intercept, then he rolls yeah. a six for the pass. So like, is the, even that is like there was another six lined up, you know? And even that makes you think, well, did, did did it just fuck up, you know? And like, it could, it could because cyanide are that bad. Yeah. That's the that's the thing. <laughs> the cyanide yeah. are just literally that bad. That these kind of what you would call a crazy. Conspiracy right. theory. Can you be? Oh, he's forgotten this guy. Look, he forgot this guy. <laughs> You've just forgot Oop. this guy. <laughs> the deck is <are> striking. <laughs> Amazing. Deep defensive threat. Mm. He's getting a full eight turns out of this, even mm. though it was a two turn deck. -er. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the instant breakthrough has certainly yeah. paid off. Oh, well, there's a dead elf. Hmm. Yeah, but some doesn't other, have a lot to spare. Like, I wonder if it's like if you know if the first one's a six, if it makes all of the rest ones a six and stuff. Like that, that could be a thing, couldn't it? If they were just that inept. Like, if I was gonna put the tinfoil hat on, I I would say that cyanide, when they were developing Blood Bowl two. They might have had some idiot who was like, listen, the only reason people love this game is when the really weird shit happens. <laughs> so we're going to put our finger on, 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 on that, on those like those six thing, those six rolls, right? Like those truly ridiculous things like deaths, right? <laughs> deaths kind of come up a little bit more when, you know, and sometimes like you notice them or like the fact that the I mean, the, I think the dumbest thing in the entire game is that. Uh, their double skull animation is different from the rest of the dice rolling animation. Like, what do you expect your player base to think of your RNG when it looks like your dice are rolling differently to get a different, you know, final mm. animation? Yeah. That's the one thing I think is really dumb, but it doesn't mean it's changing the odds of rolling it, but like, yeah. Mm. But like, I could see them being like, okay, what are the fun, like, what are the most fun heavy crazy shit in this game that makes it so unique yeah. uh and let's maybe put our fingers on uh on making that a little bit more frequent than it should be and that would be a thing like intercepting a bomb getting thrown so maybe there is a slight bias in the game for it to roll a six you know or something like that but i don't actually think that's true it's just like if i had to rationalize out 
what I thought they might have done oh. surreptitiously. I would it definitely would give like them. That. I would definitely give them zero credit for being able to make any conscious decision. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that that's uh, so. That's where my point falls apart. Is that <laughs> I'm actually applying more competency to their abilities than less. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's totally fair. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're all on the same page there. <laughs> oh, another Kaz! And that is a pretty, pretty sexy movement of one. Uh, apple comes in and, well, automatically worked. No, it didn't automatically work. The Apple comes in and works. Oh, really nice. But two deaths, nobody cares much. No tree, no. No, it's I don't know, Tim. I don't know enough about the video game industry to have a, a, a strong opinion on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guys who made Elden Ring, that was a good game. They seemed like they know what they were fucking doing. They, they, they make billion dollar video game franchises. I'm sure they've got time for Blood Bowl. Mm. There you go. Nah, I don't think that happens way too often, Clements. I think that is definitely perception bias, right? Uh, well, listen, again, uh, because it happened to me in the most recent SFL playoffs, I can guarantee that that is uh, not perception <laughs> bias, and it's actually just bad programming, uh, and, and it is wrong, and I got cheated against Nick. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In fact, I'm playing, uh, I'm playing the rest of this season out under protest. Um, <laughs> by playing, I mean... Sitting there with my thumb up my ass, hoping you or you or Nick wins, <laughs> so I can just buy the title off of you. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, there you go, Ducky. Oh, whoever made whoever made Battle Brothers, uh, who is that? <laughs> Over oversight or something. Battle Overhype, isn't it? Overhype, that's, uh, that's Battle Brothers. Mm. Some of them even play it's it me. as well. P. Diddy. No, no, Famir, Famir, the, uh, the money starts flowing once I'm no longer playing Blood Bowl. That's a very key point. <laughs> if I'm still active and playing Blood Bowl, I have all the confidence in the world that I can win the game. Uh, it's the moment I, I fail to do that is when uh, the PayPal account fires up. As if felt that should be a the calcium. <laughs> Third monitor is for monitoring the bee population of Middle Earth. <laughs> oh my fucking god, there's tons of bees in Middle Earth, you fucking moron. <laughs> Never change, what, Skiro, never where, change. Where do you think the honey that Bjorn has for them <laughs> comes from, you idiot? Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what the name of the world that we were in in Jack Bull's D&D, but, uh, you know, we, we need to establish the, the bee population there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Seems weird to uh, I mean, pick that up before a foul, doesn't he? He's got reserves, like, dude, foul. Like, he, he, that would, he, that's weird. I have to respond to this Lord of the Rings thing. I'm sorry. Uh, that would that would be all well and good, and you can play that card all you want, T-Man. Except he expressly talks about them keeping bees. <laughs> like, <laughs> I fucking got him, boys. <laughs> oh wait, you're not. Oh, this is a bad faith argument. God damn it. <laughs> I got him, boys. <laughs> oh dear. You could probably be oh, a beekeeper in Warhammer Fantasy uh, roleplay. Mm, probably, though they've never been explicitly mentioned in the law. <laughs> there is oh, the Hoffenheim Hornets as a as a blood ball. There's yeah. a blood ball team called the Hoffenheim Hornets. So you could you could argue if there's hornets, there's bees because they're all so small and black and yellow. <laughs> 
<laughs> How do you not have bees though? Because you can't like there's flowers and shit. Like surely yeah, you have yeah, to have yeah, bees. It's, it's not Why is it even a thing that anybody would ever say? I don't understand. Yeah, I, I don't know where that first came from, but it was just straight up wrong then, and it's still wrong now. And T Man Taylor can fuck himself. <laughs> and he probably will. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he literally Tolkien probably put that out there because he knew I'd come along someday and he wanted to fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Warhammer fantasy equivalent of Watford? Uh, the Sterland. <laughs> Why didn't they fly the bees to Mount <laughs> Oh my god, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> My uh, my sister brought her new boyfriend over at Thanksgiving, and he was like trying to endear himself to me because he saw that I had a Lord of the Rings sword hanging on my wall. And he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm a really big fan of Lord of the Rings." I was like, "Okay, cool." And he's like, "I just got one question, and I just went, God damn it, get out!" <laughs> he's like, "No, no, 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 no! I'm serious. It's a serious question. I I wanted to ask because like you seem to know a lot, and I've always kind of wondered this." And I was like. I swear to God, if he mentions fucking eagles, I'm going to put my fist through this guy's <laughs> fucking face. He's like, I'm just curious why you think they couldn't just fly the eagles to Mordor. And I, I was like, serious. I looked at Liz. I was like, break up with him. Get out. <laughs> I was so pissed off. <laughs> and he wasn't memeing. He was serious. That was the one question. That was his question. He wanted to ask me. That was like the only thing he could possibly think of to start a conversation was the trolliest stupid question he could possibly ask. Yeah, every yeah, it's it's so dumb. Oh god. Amazing. Oh wow, that's why he didn't fail before. Sent off for no effect. Um But yeah, down they're down to like we're, we're, we're down to eight. Now they're down to six. Uh, capped at seven, so it's going to be tricky for the for the Woodies, but they'll still have a, like a one turn one that they've got move up and sprint and uh, side step, so they should have a decent chance of a one turn if they've got enough people to even get a hit. <laughs> Fame here. Yeah. Yep. Oh God, it's, we're so fucking old. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it, well, it's the same answer as uh, as what's it called, isn't it? Uh, Top Gun Maverick. You know, he had those. He had those sounds to, uh, that, that, that they couldn't. He couldn't do it. <laughs> he didn't have Tom Cruise to fly one of the eagles. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Enzo! Imagine, ima not Enzo, backyard auto. Imagine, imagine if Nick Cage had played Sauron. <laughs> He's like, not the bees! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. Too many bees. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Nick Cage Sauron would be, would be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> Do bees have the swarming rule? <laughs> <laughs> Seemingly, yes. Uh, so we've gotten the offensive and the defensive DACA here by the elves really running the gambit, huh? Yeah, yeah, fantastic. A lovely, a lovely match to watch. It's taken them all about ten minutes, this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. Mm. So my my youngest dog, my she's like eight months old now, something like that. She has figured out how to open the front door from the outside. But her concept of opening it is that latch, that gold latch thing needs to be wiggled and I need to slam into the door. So she'll be outside and I'll just hear this like shake, 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 slam into the door and be like, oh, she, she failed. She hasn't quite gotten the, uh, <laughs> the full process down. She just knows all of the elements of opening the front door. <laughs> oh, something's happening. I think it's just a corner blitz here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I was trying, I was trying to hype it up. Don't say it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are they? Their plan is to. Ah, uh, they go. No, yeah, they're just hitting the corner. Yeah, but you got to protect. What's their plan here? Do they just rely on the one turn and then uh, with your four elves and uh, win a coin toss? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, they're, they're one nil up, right? So if if they get the one turn, they just win. And yeah, if, they, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. if they win but the toss, they probably just win. Yeah. 
They've got yeah. two pretty good chances as long as they've got any players left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. And they do have a babe, right? So the KO could could be relevant. Yeah, eight out of nine to come back, isn't it? Because Hubbin Bubbin will will score on turn sixteen, presumably. Nick Cage in that one where he was quite buff and like one of his first ones, I remember that. I don't know. I don't even know what the movie was called, but he was like a crazy he's like a crazy bouncer or something. What what was that in? I don't know. It was one of his early ones. Well, there goes another. <laughs> Kiss of death. There you go. <laughs> I remembered him in that. It was funny. <laughs> yeah, Connor. I really Connor want, I, Cage is a good one. I really want to see unbearable weight of massive talent. I've heard. Uh, I've heard that's really good. Yeah, I've. I've I haven't just haven't watched it. I I I, yeah. I did think of watching it a while ago. I saw a trailer for it in the theater and I lost my shit and then I completely forgot about its existence. Mm. It was actually great, glorious. Yeah, he's pretty ripped in kind of. Yeah, that's fair. Is this second round or first round? This is still the first round in our end. Yeah, the you, are you asking about the boxer from Street Fighter 2, Christopher? So no, he does not. He wasn't the boxer, was he originally? He was the uh, he was the he was the Spanish bullfighter, was Balrog, and then and the obvious, obviously M Bison was the boxer, right? That makes so much sense, doesn't it? Like holy shit! And then they changed them all, I think, because they were afraid of getting sued in like in the rest of the world by like Mike Tyson. I thought Vega. I thought Vega was the the Tory or like the. The Spanish, in 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 the West, yeah, in the West. But originally, uh, 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 originally when they made it, they, yeah, when they made it, they made they made like you know Mike Tyson and Bison, and then so then they, they they jiggled around all like Sagat was always Sagat, but they jiggled around the yeah. three the three names so that they wouldn't get. Oh, no, M Bison, Mike Tyson. I never put that together. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. He doesn't look like a boxer. Oh, but Balrog was M Bison originally. And um, Vega, like, so, yeah, 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 Balrog the boxer was M. Bison, and then okay. Vega the bullfighter was Balrog originally, and then M. Bison the big baddie was Vega originally. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I did not know that. Yeah, and they, they jigged them all around. Yeah, funny that, isn't it? And I think it, I think it was because they were, like, literally afraid of getting sued by Mike Tyson <laughs> in, in America, like, which is weird because... Why would you know if he would if you would get sued in in America? Then why wouldn't you get sued, you know, in mm. Japan as well? But um, they definitely changed them. I, I assume it was to do with getting sued because that seems to be the only. Have I have I told my anything. have I told you my Mike Tyson story before? Well, no, I would have known if you had a Mike Tyson story. Oh, this is a, this is a pretty good one. This is a, this is actually a pretty good one. So in the the in the famed summer of two thousand two, when I was living in L.A. and canceling Firefly. It's a busy year for me. Uh, I to make ends meet because I was a broke college student. I was working at a Hollywood Video in uh, in uh, I think it was Westwood uh, in L.A. Uh, and uh, we got a few celebrities in there because it was like right near Beverly Hills. And Mike Tyson came in one day to rent a movie. Wow! And so I bring up his account. He was just renting some some new release action movie. I don't remember what it was. But he had like sixty dollars in late fees, and they were all for like not porn because we didn't rent porn out, but like skin flick movies, and like pretty <laughs> gross ones too. But there was an all caps note on his account that said, "Do not ask this man to pay his late fees." <laughs> and I just and I just looked at it, and I was just like, "Man." I could survive one punch from this guy, right? And then I'm rich. Just one punch. All I gotta do is survive one punch when calling him out very loudly for this, like, random, like, 
skin flick. Uh, maybe it was a porn because there was a porn section there. I don't remember anymore, but it was like I remember the title being like incriminatingly bad and being like, <laughs> if I said, "Hey, you owe us fifty dollars for this movie, asshole," and he punches me, I'm rich. I might be dead though. Yeah. And so ultimately, I didn't call him out on it. I just mm. rented him the movie. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sean Batav for the raid. Missed an incredible story there, Sean Batav viewers. But yeah, the, the the problem is right. It's not necessarily one punch either, is it? You know, like that's the <laughs> well, thing. I was behind a counter, so he'd have to leap over the counter and finish me off. I mean, he definitely <laughs> could though. Couldn't he? He's like, it's like <laughs> the one punch might yeah. kill you, and he might yeah. finish you off as well. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Well, I mean, we won't see it happen 20 years ago, but... Yeah. It's also, like, the most unnecessary note ever, isn't it? Like, dude, if, if I see Mike Tyson, I'm not saying yeah. shit to him. I was making, like, 4 50 an hour at that fucking place. You think I was gonna be like, oh, yeah, I really care about offending Mike Tyson right now to get this store, it's 50 bucks. Yeah, Christ, if, if I had, like, body armor and a pistol, I still wouldn't fucking say shit to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The only other celebrity I remember coming into that um, into that uh, Hollywood video was uh, uh, what's her name Tyra Banks. That Ooh. was the other one, and this was like 2003 Tyra Banks too. So like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm. Apparently, like three other celebrities came in. And I just I'm not very good at like identifying celebrity, <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know any of them. <laughs> Loads of cars here, but. Might still just have enough for the maybe for the not for the one turn actually. Was this four, five players? I mean, you're, you're assuming he gets a, assuming he gets out of this uh, this half with one more player. There yeah. could be another blitz if this guy really uh, wanted to flex. Yeah, probably should right. Oh 3D. yeah, yeah, yeah. Three D, three D with tackle palm, hundred yeah. percent. Oh, the catcher's sitting right there. Yeah, yeah, he's hundred percent getting three D. Do not ask about it. Yeah, it's funny that, isn't it? Because, like, you could just make that decision yourself. I don't... Like, that. Yeah. that those kind of nods seem pretty, yeah. pretty redundant. Oh, wow. Gets away with it. Yeah, thank you very much, Ambitat. Glorious. Cool to see you streaming and uh, getting some good viewers there, glorious. Right. Will we see the one turn? Because it's only one push, isn't it? Uh, does he have move up? Yep, move or up. Sprint? Move up and sprint. Yeah, yeah, move up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. sidestep. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, it definitely, definitely possible well how many stand firm is there just the one uh yeah only yeah. one stand yeah. firm yeah yeah so it is possible but it's improbable <laughs> <laughs> yeah shanva the old the old the old afk raids are the best aren't they i've experienced that i've experienced the uh the like you know you know stream a game of blood ball or whatever and then the 30 afk people sit through Six hours of Battle Brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things like that. Very good. People who value their gym points, you mean? Yes, of course, yeah. Their gym shards, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, some people did enjoy it. And very appreciated. But there are obviously, there's an element of like AFKism, isn't there, a lot of the time? I don't know how many. Be interesting, wouldn't it? I wonder. There are probably stats on like how many how many viewers are just AFK at any one point, and I bet I bet it's probably <laughs> quite high. But it's all good, isn't it? It's all good. So this is a two plus leap for an uphill. Yep. And a power will work. I don't. Get why that is better than oh, because he's the stand firm one. Okay, I was gonna say that you shouldn't use blitz this one, but yeah, he's the stand firm. Could have blitzed here and then go to there. Gets the push. He didn't leap though. Yeah. Didn't is leap. that uh? 
Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm just, on the delay. Yeah. yeah, just a three plus dodge. I didn't even need to leave. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, baby. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, elves being elves. What a way to lose a game of Blood Bowl, right? That's Blood Bowl. <laughs> Should have just... He, I mean, hey, you could... The thing is, if you really wanted to go through this, you could go all the way back to that DACA and say that one extra turn might have given him the extra player he needed to make that one turn. Yeah. You know, yeah. the way this game played out, it yeah, was that absolutely. tight. Absolutely. One more player off the pitch for the elves, and they can't do that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And like you know, and then also one square, like that one square that made that chain possible. If he mm -hmm. goes there, he doesn't break through that that turn. And if he doesn't break that through that turn, maybe he takes more hits. And then maybe there's one less player to stop the one turn and stuff. Yep. So, wow, that was pretty much a pretty great non-game by the elves. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a great <laughs> non-game from them. They they dackered both halves. Didn't make any effort to stop the score. And uh, fantastic, just get the one turn. Uh, so I've already literally forgotten the coaches involved. Um, uh, is my weakness. Normally Kalon keeps me right, but never mind. Commiserations to Kemri. Congratulations to the Woodies. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much. Skuro. Always glorious having you in the booth. Absolutely, and thank you uh, to our viewers again in Benin. Hope you enjoyed whatever that was. Have a good one. Yeah, yeah. Zahu, Zahu with the Woodies and Hubbin Bubbin with the Kemrys. Thank you very much, Enzo. You said that just as I remembered. So, um, yep. Thank you very much. Don't don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>